So the last major top dressing project for this year is to do the entire back lawn. Now, because I'm dealing with 9,000 square feet, I obviously don't want to do all that by hand. So I got a little bit of equipment to make the job a little bit easier. Now, let me step through everything we've got here. Obviously, the things you're going to need for doing a top dressing job of this size are a wheelbarrow, some shovels. Um, what I also got here is something that I think that everybody should invest in. It's a nice leveling rate. It makes the job of moving the material around way easier. You should definitely invest in one of those if you're considering doing this. Because we're really going all out with this job, I also got an aerator. This is a billy goat. This should be a lot easier to use, hopefully, than the Ryan that we had to deal with last year. As a pro tip, whenever you're aerating, be sure to rinse the tines off and make sure they're nice and clean so you don't introduce any fungus issues or weed issues into your lawn. This one's all clean, so we're good to go. Next up is the Toro Dingo. This guy's job is to make quick work of putting sand into our top dressing machine. And of course, the last machine of the hour, the star of the hour, is our top dressing machine by Earth and Turf. This guy's gonna make it really easy for us to get super even coverage of applying the mixture that we're gonna be using to our lawn. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the top dressing mixture we're gonna be using. For top dressing this year, I'm going with a level mix from Super Sod. I've always heard really good things about the product, so when the opportunity came along to give it a shot on the back lawn, I jumped at it. Now, the level mix consists of two major components. It's 70% silica sand and 30% of their soil cued material, which is their really rich organic compost. If you want to take a look at this stuff, it's really, really rich material and super clean. Again, we're dealing with silica sand that meets USGA standards, so there's no trash, no garbage, nothing in that. This is going to spread really easily and work really, really well on the lawn. Can't wait to put this stuff down. On to the process. So the process we're gonna be using for top dressing the lawn is as follows. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is cut the lawn really short. That's done. Second is to mark any sprinkler heads or any other special pieces of equipment that you have in the lawn that you don't wanna be damaged by the upcoming step, which is to core aerate. Core aerating is important because it helps break up compaction and it helps that level mix integrate better into the existing soil. After that, we're gonna be fertilizing, applying a little bit of essential G to help build up the quality of the soil, and then it's on to the major job, which is top dressing. And after that, I've got a bonus coming up for you guys, so again, be sure to keep watching. Let's get started with aerating the lawn. All right, guys, this year we're using a different aerator, which is the Billy Goat. The nice thing about this one is that it has a water tank on top that allows you to set how much weight you want to put down on the tines. Because we wanna aerate as deeply as possible, we're gonna fill this all the way up. We're just gonna add 50 pounds of weight onto the tines. Okay guys, so core aeration is done. Got my workout in. And as you can see, a lot of you guys are really worried about picking up cores. Now I've personally never done that. And you can see it's only been, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, maybe maybe a little longer than that. And you can see how these guys are already breaking up. I mean, they, they you know, that's, that's free uh, sand, free organic material. There's really no reason to pick that stuff up. I've, I've never done it in the six years since I've been top dressing my lawn. So it's up to you guys whether you, whether you want to do that or not. I will not be doing it. The next step is gonna be our fertilization and feeding the soil. So what we're gonna be using today is Country Club Fertilizer, the Humic Max, the 1608. This is a fertilizer I'm gonna be putting down on the entire lawn at three pounds per thousand, not super heavy. Just a little kick to get the, the grass going. And then I'm gonna go in super heavy on the Essential G. So in this case, we're gonna be putting down six bags over 9,000 square feet, which is a pretty heavy rate. But given that we just aerated the lawn and you know it's fully opened up, now's a great time to add a lot of rich organic materials, some carbon, some silica, lots of great compost uh, to the soil. So the Essential G will go down first, and then the Humic Max. Let's get to it. All right, guys, as far as the rate on the spreader, it's wide open. We're really gonna be throwing this down as fast as the spreader can put it out because we're going super heavy. So the earthquake goes to a max of 30. That's what I'm running it at. I've got it wide open because the idea is that I'm gonna be putting down six bags. I wanna get it down as soon as possible so we can get to put the fertilizer down and get to top dressing. Let's go. And guys, for the Humic Max, we are not gonna run the spreader wide open. With this one, you're gonna use a setting of 13 on the Earthway, or check the links in the description. I'll have settings for other common spreaders. All right, guys, so the aeration is done, the Essential G's down, the Humic Max is down. We are ready to start top dressing. 
So there's a couple ways to load up the top dressing machine. What I'm gonna show you guys is just using standard shovel and just loading it up this way. So a lot of you guys may not have access to a dingo, but you might be able to find one of these. And literally, you're just gonna load this guy up until it's full. This is what the process would look like if we are using a shovel to fill up our compost machine. Once done, we go out on the lawn, start spraying the top dressing mix, and then start working it in with a leveling rake. Now, I'll show you how we're gonna do it. All right, guys, as you can see, the compost spreader is making quick work of getting the top dressing mix out on the lawn. But if you're not using that and you wanna see the technique for using just a wheelbarrow, shovel, and a leveling rake, perhaps a broom, to get a pretty good result, I'm gonna show you how to do that. This area, whenever it rains heavily, water pools here. So we're gonna do a little spot top dressing here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my leveling mix, just grab some here out of a shovel. I'm just gonna cast that down like that. I'll do another one. Probably like do three shovel fulls here to kind of work that area. And because I know I'm filling in a lower area, I don't mind going a little bit heavier, probably just one more, we should be good. All right, kind of like that. So now what we're gonna do is, you got a couple options. If all you have is a broom, you can use a broom to begin moving the material around kind of like this to kind of work it in. You can use a broom as a means to work the leveling mix into the turf, you know, kind of allow it to drop down in the canopy. But the real way, a great way to do this to get an even better result, uh, and I think overall is easier, is to use one of these guys, a leveling rake. Now, I'll have a link in the description where you can pick one of these guys up, but literally this is like a two-in-one tool. It acts kind of like a shovel in the sense that it moves the material around very easily, and does a great job of planting the material and getting a nice level result as you work it into the turf. So literally with this, you can see I can just move the material around nice and easily, and as you can see, it makes it nice and smooth. Not only is it like, getting rid of any high spots and low spots, but the net result is very, very smooth when using a leveling rake. I absolutely highly recommend one of these guys if you are doing a, a larger top dressing project. Again, you can get decent results with just using a broom, but if you want you know, the best result with the least amount of effort, it's definitely worth investing in one of these guys. And as you can see, some of the material there, that's all the compost that's in the soil three. Once we water that in, that's going to break down nicely, help feed the soil, and we'll just keep working it back and forth like this until it all disappears in. So I think I've done a pretty good job getting rid of that low spot. You can see right here was a lot of sand. That's where the water tends to settle when it rains heavily. So I think we've addressed the problem. Very cool. So we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna keep filling it in. Something else I wanna show you guys, you'll notice here that we put Frisbees down over the sprinkler heads. While we were doing the aerating, we had the flags. But now when we're top dressing, we're using Frisbees. Reason for that is we can run the top dressing machine over it, no problem. And what that prevents is sand running down into where the sprinklers are. Because if sand gets down in there, it'll ruin your sprinkler. It tends to be kind of gritty. And what you'll find is that the sprinkler head will begin to stick. It won't rotate. All kinds of bad things happen. So and you can pick these up on Amazon for, I think it was like six or $7. Not that, not that expensive. I'll have links in the description for these as well. They're actually like dog Frisbees. So definitely consider doing one of those if you have sprinklers in your lawn. Let's get this job finished up. All right, guys, so this is day two. We are, I don't know, a couple hours into day two. What do you think, Alex? To get closer, you can actually talk. Yeah, uh, hard work, but I think it's all paying off. Everything's starting to even out, it's looking good. Yeah, man, so let me show you guys what we got here. So again, this is two days worth of work. We already aerated, finished top dressing. And what you see around here, a lot of what's in, like right around here, a lot of this brown you're seeing, that's a lot of the soil three compost. I really wanted to get this area a little bit heavier because if you guys remember from when we've overseeded before with Arden 15, this area here is where it didn't take as well. So I really want to get a lot of the organic material in this area. So we'll see how that works out. Overall, you can see how the coverage looks. Overall, you can see a lot of the grass blades are still sticking through and that's really what you want, right? We haven't watered this in as yet. 
or anything. And once we do that, it's gonna sell a lot more. But what you're seeing here is about what you're going for whenever you top dress. You can still see, you know, sand going into a lot of the low areas but there's still quite a bit of grass sticking up. So you're not burying it. And again, this hasn't been watered as yet, um, which will cause a lot of it to sink in. Now it's time for that bonus. If you guys watched until now, you guys kind of earned it. So I'm sure you guys that bonus I was telling you guys about. All right, guys, so a big part of also why I was so keen to top your salon at this time of the year is to set up a good bed for Arden 15. I want to get a nice, good application of it. There's no, no pre-emerge on the lawn this year, so I should get really good germination. Now, as far as how I've done this, um, I mix the Arden 15 seed with play sand. You can actually see some footage now of me mixing it up. I take about a 50-pound bag of play sand, add the Arden 15 in there, mix it up. So when I put this down, when I apply this, it's not going to blow all over the place. So what you're looking at here is about uh, oh, 15 pounds or so of Arden 15, and and again, some play sand to kind of give it some body. Uh, as far as my spread setting with this, I have it set to 10 on my Earthway. That produces a pretty good setting that allows me to put down the seed at a, at a good rate. I'm gonna make passes obviously lengthwise and to and from the house just to make sure we get great coverage. Let's get to it, guys. All right, guys, so the Arden 15 seed is down. I've lightly worked it into the turf using the leveling rake. The next step, and something that's gonna help me with germination, is to put down some hydrotain. The hardest part of getting Bermuda grass seed to grow in is keeping enough moisture on it. And by putting down some hydrotain, it's gonna help the ground retain moisture, it's gonna help the seed, the root zone, uh, maintain moisture, which is gonna help me with germination. And we will be applying this all over the back lawn. I probably got a little extra here, so I'll do the front too. This stuff is what we're gonna be putting down the lawn. Now, the only trick with Hydrotain, why it chose the granular, is that it's less picky as far as when you have to water it in. If you use the liquid Hydrotain, as soon as you, the ground's gotta be moist, first of all. You gotta put it down, and then you gotta water it in right away. With this one, literally, I can put it down, and I'm gonna get rain in a couple of days. I can wait for that. Um, but this is a little bit more forgiving, which is why I decided to go with this. So let's get the Hydrotain down and get this seed bed prepared. Well, as you guys can see, it's a ton of work to do this, to aerate, put down the Hubic Max, the Essential G, to top dress the lawn and seed it, and then put down all the other uh, additives that help with germination. It's a ton of work, but the lawn, I am positive, is gonna grow back really, really nicely. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this develops, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't as yet. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you can't get enough of top dressing, I'm gonna have a playlist right here that I'll put up on the screen right now that's gonna have links to all my other top dressing footage, stuff from last year when we did Alex's lawns. So if you wanna get some more tips in addition to what you already learned today, be sure to click on that playlist coming up next. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.